the real causes of acid reflux and GERD. Your stomach naturally makes a strong liquid called hydrochloric acid, which is made out of hydrogen and chlorides. Normally, your stomach acid is supposed to soften and break down your food so that it can be digested fully. However, when there is something wrong, acids can begin escaping the stomach and backflowing up into the food pipe where it doesn't belong. And this can cause a painful burning sensation in the chest, especially when you lie down. You may notice a tightness or a lump sensation in your throat, more so after you eat food. Or you may get a chronic cough, sore throat or mucus every day because the acid is causing inflammation in your throat. Now, it's normal to have acid reflux from time to time when you have overeaten or you've had too many junk foods. However, if acid reflux becomes an everyday problem, this indicates that there may be a deeper problem going on in your digestive system. In this video, we are going to explore the real underlying causes of acid reflux and how to fix this using nutrition and natural remedies. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Number 1 is a relaxed valve. The most common cause of acid reflux is consuming foods that relax the valve above your stomach. A band of muscle called the LES is supposed to squeeze tight to hold the acid in your stomach. However, certain things can stop this gate from closing properly, allowing acid to backflow into the food pipe such as caffeine from coffee, tea and soda drinks, alcohol from things like beer, wine or spirits, or even smoking or inhaling tobacco can relax this valve. 2. Weak Stomach Acid As we get older, we naturally get weaker stomach acid, which is more alkaline, which makes it harder to break down and digest your food. This can cause a buildup of waste in your gut, which can put physical pressure on your stomach that triggers reflux. You also need a very strong, acidic stomach to send the signal to close the LES valve and prevent reflux. To overcome this, you can drink one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed in a glass of water before each meal, but we'll talk more about the best remedies for reflux later. 3. Antacids Medicines like antacids and proton pump inhibitors may help with acid reflux in the short run by easing the burning sensation and lowering acid production in the stomach. Unfortunately, however, using them for more than a week neutralizes your stomach acid a little too much, which signals the valve above your stomach to stay open. These drugs essentially start to make your stomach lazy producing less acid and enzymes that you need for digestion. Over time, this causes your acid reflux and GERD to get worse, and you become dependent on these drugs in an endless cycle. Long-term use of antacids often leads to gallstones, bone pain, osteoporosis and many other health problems because they block you from absorbing nutrients like calcium or protein properly. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. Cause number 4 is a deficiency in salt. Many people who follow a low salt or a low sodium diet also tend to suffer from acid reflux. To fully break down your food and prevent acid from backing up into your esophagus, your stomach needs something called chlorides to make the hydrochloric acid, and these come from salt, which is sodium chloride. I'd recommend cutting out the table salt and using a good quality sea salt with your meals, such as Redmond, Celtic or Himalayan salt, to help your stomach digest your foods properly. You also need potassium from leafy green vegetables, as this works in balance with sodium from the salt to prevent high blood pressure. 5. High Cortisol People who are under a lot of emotional stress also tend to have frequent bouts of acid reflux and indigestion, and there's a good reason for this. Stress triggers the release of a hormone called cortisol, which turns off the rest and digest part of your nervous system and it puts you into fight or flight mode. 
Unfortunately, this lowers pressure on the valve above your stomach, which then lets stomach acid leak upwards, triggering heartburn and acid reflux problems. And number 6 is irritants and food sensitivities. Due to genetics, some people have sensitivities to certain foods that trigger inflammation in the stomach and the digestive tract. Grains, gluten and vegetable oils, for example, often cause inflammation in the stomach lining and the intestines, which can lead to reflux. Some people are sensitive to lactose in dairy foods, like cheese and milk, which can cause bloating, causing pressure that triggers reflux. Caffeine can be a trigger for reflux in many, many people. And then there's sugary foods, which can ferment in the bowels, causing pressure to build up. And eating spices and herbs which have a tingling effect, like peppermint, chilli or peppercorns, can sometimes cause a flare-up of acid reflux. Some other causes of acid reflux which are less common but can also occur would include a hiatal hernia, where the stomach pushes through the diaphragm and weakens the valve above the stomach. A common stomach infection can also cause acid reflux, which is also the main cause of stomach ulcers. Excess body weight and being obese can put pressure on the stomach and the LES. Overeating can obviously increase the stomach pressure and the workload. Pregnancy can cause hormonal changes that relax the valve. And using too many painkillers like ibuprofen can irritate the stomach lining and cause acid problems. How to stop acid reflux Now that you understand that acid reflux isn't just caused by too much acid, and using antacid drugs too often only makes the problem worse, let's take a look at some natural ways to overcome acid reflux permanently using natural methods. Firstly, start eating some raw, shredded cabbage on a daily basis. You can use red, purple, green, savoy cabbage or sauerkraut in a delicious salad. Cabbage is rich in glutamine, chlorophyll and vitamin C, which will heal your stomach lining, food pipe and intestines from any type of damage caused by acid reflux. Quit antacids. Wean yourself off or stop taking antacids, which are depleting your stomach acid and making reflux worse. Speak to a doctor of functional medicine to help you work on this strategy. Enzymes and betaine hydrochloride. Replace the antacids with a good quality digestive enzyme supplement, which contains betaine hydrochloride, ox bile and pancreatin. These all help your stomach to break down your food fully, reducing intra-abdominal pressure and reflux. Apple cider vinegar. Mix one tablespoon of raw apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and drink this down with a straw before a meal. This naturally lowers the pH of the stomach, signalling the closure of the LES valve to stop the acid leaking upwards into the food pipe. Reduce irritants. Stop eating refined grains and vegetable oils in your diet from foods like bread, biscuits, cereals, pasta, sweets, sugars, corn oil, soy oil, canola, etc. I'd recommend keeping a food diary to identify the foods that are triggering your reflux and then cutting them out. Sea salt. Start sprinkling Celtic, Redmond or Himalayan sea salt over your meals. These salts provide chlorides which help your stomach to build hydrochloric acid properly. Potassium foods. You should also be eating foods rich in potassium, which activates parietal cells in the stomach to normalise the acid production. Good options include avocados, leafy greens, wild salmon, beet tops, squash, arugula and brussels sprouts. Carbonated water. First thing in the morning, I'd suggest drinking 500 millilitres of carbonated mineral water. Feel free to add a squeeze of fresh lemon or the apple cider vinegar to this if you want to. This will hydrate your digestive system and help to move old waste through the system. Cut back on the tea and the coffee for a while until you get your acid under control. No food after 7. Stop eating and drinking anything but water after 7pm and do not eat again until the following day. 
This gives your body the chance to rest and digest, to balance out acid production and prevent reflux when you lie down in bed at night. And lower stress. If you suffer from a lot of emotional stress, try to get more sleep, take walks in nature and try to get out of your head to help calm down your nervous system. And if you'd like to learn more about the top supplements to stop acid reflux permanently, tap on the video that I've put on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.